Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of my Eric the Wind campaign playthrough. And basically, last episode, we got our ass, well, we don't get kicked our ass kicked, but we were getting killed a little bit. Now, what I, why I'm marching out this aggressively is because, well, I normally always tend to do that. But mainly, I want to be fast before the elves start taking lands. I want to take the land before the elves can get their pretty little hands on them. And yeah, all the orcs or whatever, right? I want to land as fast as bloody possible. Okay, because that seems like a very smart thing to do. And also more land means more money, more army, and all that stuff. Alright, so we end another turn, and we're gonna pause here. By the way, I probably should have done this before before I start the episode, but we're gonna pause here, and uh, because of the massive sound that's gonna happen, which is not good, probably copywriting, so... Yeah, hope I don't get it. So see you guys, and then we are back on that. It's so annoying, really. That's really annoying. Well, and now I know that certain I have to pause it. Now, these Erdogan forges are not going to be used, so I'm going to be using a lot. They're not good at all. I'm going to get a spy, by the way. Aye, Lord. And we're going to get our warriors Aye. out, and they're going to join their king. Aye. Clan Lord. Lord. Honor, my Lord. We must. We could assault it. We could win it. I mean, my seat, general sire. can basically beat his way through it almost alone, but we're not going to do that. We're going to wait for the main, uh, for the other units to arrive, and we're going to also marching to battle here sire. with not with the sea. I, my liege. The rain. Joining our forces. And what is your name again? I, noble sire. Gorge. I'm never going to remember those nice names. Uh, maybe eventually I will, but yeah, not at the moment. <laughs> okay. Um, you will not shoot Lord, now. My king, leading the men with honor. Sire. There's a clear advantage of attacking right now. That means that would, I can instantly, Captain Br Brion. Okay, that means I can instantly move forward to fight against the. Oh, these are axemen. I probably should. These axemen. Okay, we could. I thought we were javelin throwers again. Okay, then we should because I mean that we we ruin some time and you know time is of the essence. So see you guys on the battlefield. Attack. Now. Let's get in there. And you're probably wondering, this is suicide. I mean, your general is completely outnumbered. Basically, whenever they swing their axes, swords, whatever they use, are they axes? Hammers. They basically kill something, so yeah. They're not really that weak at that. We're gonna send our forges over here. Oh, we can't go through here? I guess our forges can go that way. Plus, my tools are stubborn, I'm gonna say. <laughs> I hope they don't fire too many arrows, although the arrows are kinda crappy, but still, I don't hope they fire too many. I mean, we don't really like that. If I against my fortress or against my general, as my general, he can take it. I mean, the fortress would be more damage if they would, you know, of course, focus on that. Lower it down a bit. Now it's the melee. We just carve our way through now. It'll be a long and glorious grind. We'll carve our way through. There we go. Now we'll hit them in the in the back. We can't break them, so yeah. we'll send some their army already. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like no this, kidding. we will smash the enemy. My king is in a Annoying position, surrounded by guys. I don't like that. Stop it, of course. My units are vast superior, but they're pushing my general hard. I don't like that. I hope he survives. If he dies, I will be very, very pissed. They're about to be destroyed here, though, so my forges, the forges are dying from axemen. Oh. Peasants. My generals are general bodyguards the being pushed back heavily, bloodied. but yeah. they have lost half their men. As have I. Don't see me that, you know amazed. We need to go help out our general here because well he's attacked heavily. There we go, our general's now safe again. It's nice. Almost safe. Well, 
Welcome to dwarves, we long out drawn our battles of the liberals. How fun. God, he was wearing heck of the armor. His miserable bones and let our swords have his men. Our men have taken control of the city. Is there something alive? This is a clear who killed the most? Well, I'm pretty sure my general killed the most, but who killed? Who, how much did they kill each? They killed quite a lot each. My general killed almost 400 men. Only lost 12 guys. Uh, have fun. See you guys back on the campaign map. And we got Pert and Loon. Whatever that may mean, I don't even know. Shall I get pirates? Because it seems like a good thing to do. Conquest, Pick farms, I guess. Because that's culture? No. Okay. So can't even get culture here. Makes no sense, but... Eh. This is pretty poor though, but yeah. Okay, so we'll leave behind the, the forges and we'll march on here and put down a watchtower. We come here until morning. There we go. Now we see this is rebel. This is rebel. Okay, this is Eastern Numeriador, and this is Talat Mill. So we did something different. Okay, so this all the way. This goes all the way down to to the to the elves. Okay, so I don't need to go there. Okay, good. So I can easily go down All here. Right, my lord. With Captain I Far, start. if he can get there. Marched time. our limit. Hit new expanse. Not really the best, but no. I told he's useful for any other character, so I guess it's something, right? So I told he's not something I'm worried about. I'm more worried about hit point. Hit point is good and morale. So we can attack this. Well, no, we can't attack this I time. So we need to siege it enemy. out. Wish I had some range. Crossbow would be nice, but yeah. that's what we need to work on next. Getting some, getting a practice range up. We can get some ranged units. That would be useful. Iron Mongus, always useful. Uh, armories. Do I have an armory here? Iron Mongus. Yeah, we need that. Wait, Iron Mongus and Iron Monger. How come this is different in cost? Weird. Oh well, it doesn't matter too much. Um, brewery is always useful. Green exchange. Actually, I get a green exchange before brewery there. Big farm, practice range. Look house. Because we don't need culture in these areas anyway. So it doesn't matter too much. How's my population growth? Yeah, it could be better. I just kind of expect this as well, sir. Alright, so I guess we'll another turn. I mean, we don't have much to do. With Kondo we had so much to do in the early game. With the dwarves we're not going to have much to do in the in the early game. I guess I'll get the forges. Oh, we can get Erdwin nobles already. Okay. I guess we get the, uh, the forges. The forges, because I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Even though I don't like them at all. I really don't like them. <laughs> but let's get them anyway, because I need units. So let's enter and see you guys in a second. Yeah, and we're back. Yeah, I personally wish they removed that sound because the uh, copyright infringements I don't like. Oh yeah, sure, go ahead. Take rebel settlement of Oskelon. Of course I will. Come on, why would I not take My that? King, we march to glory. What do they got inside? Noble sire. Basically the same thing, except jam throwers now, but we can have more units. Aye. Onward. Probably better units. That'll do them today, sire. We have a lot of agents. Something to investigate. We we'll go here for a second. All right, all right, Eastern. We can easily take that. It's, it's good. We can take this without a problem. What did he got? Oh, old huntsman. Okay. Mass celebrations. Duh. Ah, nice. We have actually forces here. We could use. I lord. My king. We'll go down east. Move out. There we March go. Down limit. Construction completed. Torrance Hall. At least we're building stuff. That's pretty good. I mean, we're building stuff. It's always nice. Diplomat we don't need. Um, am I allied with the elves or am I neutral with them? I'm neutral, in I? New family member, so we're already starting to get kids. Great, so we have to pay for those later. <laughs> okay, that's not good. 
Oh, for dwarves, I'm looking very gray for 45 year old dwarf. That's does make sense. This guy is grayer than my son, than my other son. What the hell? <laughs> ah, they didn't pick the picture correctly to the year, did they? Yeah, my other thing. We go with one of the best units available. Let it be freaking good. Let it be like you know some really really strong units that I'm just gonna pound away with like 5,000 orcs. That'd be nice. I know those. I doubt it. I no today. My I can By dream. Will, sire, I can dream. We shall engage. Uh, I'm not gonna engage with Clan Lord Gore. And this one, I mean, even though the huntsmen are a lot weaker than the axemen uh, in melee, they will throw javelins at me, which I'm not gonna like. And I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get inside them anyway, and they're gonna come outside most likely. Now we have an open battlefield, which is not where I want to be. I wanna be in the I melee. Will. I wanna be inside cities because that's where I'm gonna pulverize stuff. So we're gonna fight this out. Aye, we? We wait for the reinforcement, but there's really no need for it. They got only huntsmen inside. Is this even has a free this has a wall, but what kind of wall does it have? It'll have towers. That's gonna suck, but well, yeah. Alright. We'll see, see you on the battlefield. Let's deploy the men. Basically the generals our generals are gonna fight this battle out. Generals I like our run. Looks nice and heavy. I'm gonna use our generals here because that seems like a very good thing to do. And who can't complain? It's cavalry. The generals are infantry. This, this will be a blow overall to fight to watch again. Six times speed. Get our infantry inside. They're holding up in, inside their location, so they'll just get pulverized. Okay, I'm, I'm up for that. My air is weaker than my actual general. <coughs> Doesn't really matter for me. So they're only huntsmen, right? So they only have javelins. So that's dangerous, but I can live with it. Definitely if they come in like that. We have captured the enemy's walls. Well, if you're gonna charge into me... Yeah, they're just jam to me. I don't like that. You guys should not be allowed to keep throwing javelins while you're in the leaf, for God's sake. My guy's not allowed, why are you guys allowed? The enemy general lies dead. That's quick. Let the crows have his miserable bones, and let our swords have his men. I didn't expect it to be this early, but apparently it is this early. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. No, 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 you go behind them. And try and carve them away from their, you know, little freaking... Crash into them, so we can. The if they break, they will die, all of them. There we go. The enemy are badly oh, the men? They have lost half their men. Look how our cowardly foe runs. You could end it this, but I won five out. So. Not from that one. The last Many angry beads got to go in this world. This is a clear victory. Indeed. We lost 40 men, mostly general units, so they'll be back. Um, we lost about a bit of Eridlewind forges again and some warriors. And I'm disappointed about their strength and that part, but hey, so be it. Alright, we'll end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe, so good. Take watching, and see you guys next time. See you then. Bye. We already got two settlements. Nice. See you then. Bye.